All right. So we continue our marathon. Let's do the marathon with a uh, talk by uh, Yadeng. Yadeng is a professor at the uh, uh, University of Nancy. He comes from an exceptional lineage, from starting with Enrique Town. And uh, uh, was a student of uh, Jean Pierre de Marie, and uh, he's going to tell us about uh, the Fire Age maps. Yeah, then. Okay, so, uh, so thank you very much for the invitation. Actually, so it's a very uh, a great pleasure for me to present my work in front of the Quick Map Nation. So, uh, uh, Okay, so uh, I would like to talk some right more on the reductive Shapovich conjecture. <laughs> so uh, actually, so uh, uh, there was an even more general version uh, of linear Shapovich conjecture, and uh, but I think that this is really crucial in the later progress. And um, actually, so uh, we have some projects that to generalize this to uh, cross-projective setting. So therefore, some new understandings uh, might be able to help to, uh, to finish this project. So this is the joint work with uh, Katoshi Yamamori, uh, who is uh, a professor at uh, Osaka University, so working uh, especially from the high quality and Kamalina group. OK, so uh, let me first recall the Shafarji conjecture. So the statement is very easy. So let X be a, a smooth projective variety, complex projective variety over C. So then uh, the universal covering is called morphic complex. It's called a morphic group. So let me uh, so recall uh, the definition of holomorphic complexity. So take some definition in complex analogy. So uh, let X be a complex space, not necessarily to be smooth, normal space. So X is called a holomorphic convex if uh, for every compact set K of X. So it's a holomorphic convex hull. I have k hat denotes to be uh, every x um, such that x belongs to x such that uh, uh, so f x is smaller than the c of uh, of f so k here and uh, so for um, for every f here so uh, the uh, the holomorphic convex hull k hat is also compact. So this is the definition of holomorphic complexity of a, a complex, complex normal space. And uh, uh, more, moreover, so uh, a stronger notion is called a stem. So X is called a stem. So if uh, it's holomorphic complex and plus but it's uh, holomorphically separable. Separable. So namely, for every two different points, uh, uh, for every x and y in in this space, so there exists a holomorphic function. So here, that's also a holomorphic, global holomorphic function. So there is, exists a global holomorphic function of x. Such that, so uh, they are not equal. So this is for a holomorphic, uh, holomorphically separate. So this is stronger than uh, than the holomorphic of X. And actually, so we have the following theorem due to Hassan uh, and Rummer, which say that uh, so if X is a holomorphic complex, if and only if so there exists a uh, Proper variation of x to uh, y such that y is set. 
So this is uh, some criteria you can think of criteria for one hypothesis. Okay, and uh, uh, so uh, assuming this, uh, <clears throat> we will see some consequence of sharp-edge conjecture. Consequence. So assume the sharp-edge conjecture, then uh, what what do we have? Okay. So assume it's true, then we know that the holomorphic uh, universal covering by the Kafka Riemann Riemann theorem, the holomorphic covering, uh, there is a map of vibration. So I have no advantage here. So this is a proper vibration. Such that so this is stack. The image uh, is in stack. And therefore this means that this will imply that for every compact sub variety, so every compact irreducible sub variety that of uh, X theta, so its image is a point. Because you know, so uh, if, uh, if it's not a point, then the image is also a compact sub variety in the stem manifold cannot be a uh, happen. So stem manifold does not contain any compact sub variety. So therefore, it will be contracted by the by this uh, vibration uh, by, uh, by the Ramos reduction map. So therefore, uh, so this is the first uh, consequence, and therefore, for each fiber. We know that it's proper, so therefore each fiber, uh, which is a fiber of uh, this morphic reduction map. So uh, the the fundamental group, uh, so gamma is some element in the fundamental group of X. We know that gamma have an action on X theta. So then the action of uh, this fiber is also compact. Is compact. And therefore, uh, it's also another fiber, and it thus, since it's contracted by this map, it's a compact variety, it's contracted by this one, and therefore, it's thus uh, another fiber of this uh, small bit of reduction map. So, therefore, uh, we know that there exists a natural action on, the, on this one. On the on the reduction image, this stem manifold, but that is it, uh, is uh, so it provides uh, such that uh, the re remote reduction map is uh, this equivalent high one equivalent. This means that uh, therefore uh, we have uh, we can take the quotient. So here. So then we take the quotient by uh, by this pi one x. So the quotient here will be just x, and the quotient here, so it will be a compact sub variety. Uh, sorry, it's compact uh, normal variety, and uh, then this morphism will be called a Shapirovich morphism because it's uh, built on the existence of uh, the, the conjecture. So if the conjecture then we have a, such a morphism. And uh, an important factor one can easily see is that so if uh, Z is a sub variety of X such that the fundamental group, image of the fundamental group of Z in pi 1 X is finite. It is finite. So if and only if. So, uh, so the is contracted. By this uh, Shapirovich model, so it's a point. So this is a, a consequence of such a result. So, and therefore, uh, we only, at this moment uh, Shapirovich conjecture is still open. So the, the, then we ask uh, some easier question. Easier question is the Shapirovich model exist or not? 
also still open, but if we uh, we uh, lose uh, the the restriction, so Campana Cola, so here's the my theorem by uh, Campana, and also Cola at almost at the same time. So in uh, 1993, they actually constructed some Schwarzschild maps instead of the Schwarzschild modulus. They proved that. So uh, for X is a projective or quasi projective or convex scalar, then there exists uh, almost holomorphic vibration. Vibration. So I'm going to add. Almost a holomorphic means that the discrete locus doesn't dominate y. So I mean, for general point y here, the inverse energy is also compact. So uh, it, it doesn't touch the discrete locus. There's a almost a holomorphic vibration such that, so uh, for every irreducible uh, z positive dimensional uh, variety of, of x. Uh, which containing a very general point of X. So we have the, uh, the, the image of pi 1 Z to pi 1 X is finite if and only if. So if and only if it was contracted by this almost holomorphic vibration. So you see, uh, this is uh, this is uh, weaker than the Schwarzschild morphism because first it's uh, almost a holomorphic vibration, and uh, and then the second. So this is uh, <coughs> it's not for every z such such a hapex. For for z that contain a very general points, uh, this hapex. So therefore, so we don't know. Uh, <coughs> The existence of Schwarzschild moving, but actually the weaker, which is called a Schwarzschild map. So this is will be called a Schwarzschild map, or Campana called gamma reduction. So gamma reduction, and uh, this is this is also in a bidirectional uh, setting. So you know, not a it's not the unique one like this one. So this is uh, some uh, known result related to the existence of Schwarzschild moving. And uh, uh, <clears throat> so now I want to say something to call some histories. So uh, the linear version. So actually, in general, it's still open. But if the fundamental group is linear, then so if the fundamental group is linear, then we know that the Navier Hodge series, so Navier Hodge series, so both in Archimedean setting. So Archimedean means that uh, the variational Hodge structure, so it's uh, developed by uh, Griffiths, and the not Archimedean setting, so not Archimedean. So this was uh, some uh, work on harmonic map to uh, Euclidean, uh, to to uh, to uh, his building. So this was done by uh, was worked by Gumovshen. And later by uh, Rudy uh, and uh, etc. So those tools can be used to study uh, this uh, question. So let me record some history. The, fir the first work was done by so if I want X is near potent. So uh, by Rudy. And uh, recently, so if X is uh, the work X is quasi projective and uh, plus some conditions on the morality matter infinity, so this was done very recently by uh, Green Buddhist and uh, Rudin, so in uh, last year. So this is a new Houghton case. And then uh, the interesting, more interesting case, I think, is that uh, when pi 1x is uh, reductive, 
In this case, so the first result was done by uh, uh, Rudinger and uh, Ram Chanhan. So they did this in uh, when X is surface. X is surface, pi 1 X is linear and reductive. So they put this in uh, 98. And an important progress which I want to talk in these two lectures is uh, for, for general X, so X projective, any projective manifold, complex manifold, and pi 1 X is linear reductive. So this was done uh, by uh, ACU. So in 2004. So this is actually the proof is really uh, involved and difficult. So um, so my, my goal is want to have a more uh, uh, easier proof to uh, for this uh, result. And also it's important because uh, for the later the in 2010, so uh, so ABU, uh, Pandolf, uh, Ludomir Pandolf, and uh, Ram Chanhan, they proved the linear case, so for pi 1 x is linear, so without reductive assumption. So actually, so it's still the reductive uh, is important, is the uh, important step here. And later, so 2015, so Campana, uh, Proton, and and uh, ABU, so they proved uh, for X is compact Taylor. X is compact Taylor, so generalizes and with pi y is linear. Still using this based on this result, and this result was based on this one. Okay, so this is some history, and as I say, my goal of these two lectures, I want to uh, prove this one. Let me uh, state the theorem to so prove. So today I want to prove the existence of Schaffer's morphism. So uh, the, the state's goal, so theorem one. So it was already proved by ACU. And uh, uh, so later we have a, a easier proof. So the, the preprint I did not appear on time, so we have now position. Uh, the theorem say that um, uh, so. It's uh, so for every, okay, so X is projective variety, projective manifold complex. So um, that denote H be, um, uh, so, uh, so H be the union, the intersection, like this one. Rho, where rho ranges, so rho ranges over uh, all reductive representation. Uh, the reductive transition in uh, pi 1 x to G or NCE. So then we take all possible reductive representations here and we take the kernel uh, kernel H, uh, the intersection. And H is a subgroup of uh, normal subgroup of pi 1 x. Okay. Then our main result say that uh, uh, there exists. Uh, so uh, the result say uh, the Schaffer movement. So let's denote x theta h to be uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, the the covering the covering of x such that its fundamental group corresponding to is h is this uh, normal subgroup is this uh, uh, subgroup. So if you want to be simple, you just uh, you assume x is uh, uh, pi one x is uh, linear and reductive. Then h is just uh, trivial, and x x tilde h is just uh, the 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 universal covering of x. So then the theorem says say that then uh, the Schaffer morphism exists. So I should say s h here to uh, to this one. So this is a proper vibration such that for every z positive dimensional uh, sub variety, irreducible sub variety. So uh, the this one is uh, so the point is contracted by uh, by this one by this 
the, the point by this morphism, if and only if for every reductive row, so uh, this image here is finite. So this is a Schaffer-Hirsch modinum associated with this edge, the existence of this Schaffer-Hirsch modinum. OK. And uh, so uh, so my goal today was want to explain how to do the whole theory to, to do this. And the goal uh, tomorrow, I would like to prove uh, the holomorphic convexity. So for simply, I prove the following easier version. So tomorrow, though, I want to prove that the x scale projective. So if uh, there exists a large representation, uh, sorry, if there is a linear representation, reductive representation, reductive, so representation, I want x to GLNC, which is large. So namely, for every sub variety, the, the, the representation is image is infinite. Then I want to say that uh, x theta, the universal coverage, is uh, stand. So the, this is uh, tomorrow's goal using more, uh, uh, more involved tools to prove this one. And today I will construct the Schaffer-Hirsch movement. But this is actually a particular case of the reductive uh, Schaffer-Hirsch injective. Because uh, if we, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, it's easier to uh, stay in the top, but actually we prove uh, can prove the more general version. Okay, so uh, now let me explain how to uh, construct it in the Schaffer-Hirsch modulum. Actually, the tool, as I said, so is a uh, whole theory. So the main tool is the, which is so-called Sasako uh, reduction theorem. Is a non convenient setting which I will explain now. So, theorem, so the mentor, which is called a stock of uh, reduction. So, let X be a projective uh, manifold of variety, normal variety. So, uh, let a row be a representation, reductive. So a reductive representation. So I say reductive representation means that the theoretical closure of the image is reductive group. So here K is a not even local field. So it's not a complex number field. So it's not a median uh, local field. So for instance, K is equal to some QP, the periodic number field, or some uh, Lohan field, so or fine field. Actually, so by the classification, we know that every nothing local field is a finite extent of QP of this one. Only two possibility P prime, two possibility. Then, I mean, then it would be to prove that there exists a vibration, which is a reduction map, which has an S flow from X to uh, project a normal variety such that. So for every positive dimensional sub variety of x, irreducible. So uh, so s rho is a point of z is a point. If and only if so uh, the image of uh, pi one z to pi one x so is uh, bounded. So it's different from the Schaffer-Hirsch. Uh, Mobile because here we say it's a bounding representation, it's not a finite. In general, it might not be finite bounding. Okay, I will explain the definition of the bounding. But this is uh, actually the, uh, the the cornerstone of all the story. So for construction of Schaffer-Hirsch morphism, and later proving the uh, the Schaffer-Hirsch conjecture convexity or standards. So we use this uh, reduction map. Okay, so just a remark with the definition bounding. So a subgroup of uh, uh, of GLNK is called bounding. Bounding. So if the if so this is uh, this 
has a low bound, so V is the valuation point. So now V, because it's not in local field, this is the valuation point. Uh, so if for the entries, so all the entries, so it's bounded, so there is a low, yeah, there is a low bound. For this set. So here, uh, so B is the uh, element in gamma, which is a subgroup of G of K. So for all the entries, so the valuation is at a low bound. So this is called a bounded bound. So for instance, so uh, a typical example is G of OK. Uh, so it's a bounded bound. Because every element is that region is uh, is at least is now zero because uh, this is definition okay. This is a bounded subgroup. So bounded subgroup. Okay. And uh, so I, I I will explain more tomorrow uh, because um, tomorrow it will be more analytic. So this this proof is based. So this is based on uh, the theory, uh, on, uh, on uh, the harmonic mapping to uh, broad theory. Harmonic mapping to uh, broad theory by uh, Mont and Sharp. Uh, and those harmonic mapping are used also to construct as, uh, uh, to construct as some uh, currents. Positive one one current from X, uh, which will be uh, some uh, some be used to prove that X two times that here. And tomorrow I will explain how to use this how to actually construct some currents, positive one one current. Okay, so uh, this is a third remark, uh, second remark, and third remark. So more recently, so if X is only quantum projective, so uh, in a recent world, so. Uh, I joined work with Sado here, myself, and uh, Yang Noi. So we proved the classical uh, reduction theorem. So we also have this uh, uh, reduction theorem. Yes, exactly. And so, and it's uh, an important building block. We proved some hyperbolic. Of varieties of meeting some um, uh, people representation. Both pi one and some people representation. Yes, some big uh, reductive and uh, big in this people representation. So this was used. So the main goal was to do this, but as a byproduct, we also Java this. And also the main goal, as I say, I want, we want to see a uh, sharp logic conjecture. So the current pool, this is crucial, that's why we don't do this. Okay, so this is the main tools, and I will explain how to use this tool to construct the sharp edge mobile. So this is slightly different as the ACU did. Uh, actually, ACU, his original method was to uh, do some reduction module K, module P. And uh, uh, so, I mean, he working on some field like this one. But actually, in, in, my, in my talk, uh, our work, we completely avoided we just using some uh, finite set of QP, only using a reduction mode P. So this has some advantage, I think, uh, yeah, because uh, I'm always afraid of a reductive group of a field of positive characteristics, so <laughs> easy to make mistakes. OK, so to do this, so the first uh, I have to uh, uh, prove an uh, <coughs> important lemma to construct the, the Sharpage morphism. Yeah, so let's do the proof. I want to now prove here what uh, the existence of Sharpage morphism. So now, first step one, we consider all the, so we consider, so all uh, reductive representations. So, which is pi one x, 
to them G of N to K. So tau. So here K is all of uh, all possible finite extension of uh, some QP. So all the possible such a uh, reductive representation. Then, as, as we say, we know that uh, there is this uh, reduction map, the couple of reduction map. I don't know the S tau from X to uh, to a vibration of variety, uh, to a vibration for normal project, normal variety. And that is tau, be all such a, I don't know, R to be uh, all such possible reduction map. The set of all possible reduction map. And then uh, a theorem, which is called a simultaneously stem factorization, which will exist a uh, vibration from I don't know, S infinity from X vibration such that uh, for every, so this will dominate all possible, all the possible such a reduction map. I mean, this means that such that for every uh, tau here, reduction, reduction uh, some uh, reductive representation must be in a local field. So uh, there exists e tau, which comes from uh, uh, comes from x. Uh, so it's um, yeah. So at infinity to uh, S tau, so uh, satisfying uh, S tau is equal to E tau composed with S infinity. So this is the first thing. I mean, each fiber it will be uh, of S infinity will be contracted by S tau by every S tau. This is the first property, and second property will exist finite. So tau one and uh, tau uh, maybe tau k in this family, so all reductive representation in the field, but that uh, so at infinity this vibration is uh, stem factorization. I mean, find for what will determine everything factorization of uh, of uh, this mobile s tau one. Okay, so we get the from X map, X map, this is the reduction map here. So this is the uh, construction of this uh, vibration. The dominant of every possible uh, reduction map from Marshall and local representation. And then the crucial thing which I want to say is that the following theorem, after we do this, an interesting thing which I want to say, let be uh, uh, the tau 1 and tau 2 be uh, two uh, representations, reductive representations in G and C, such that. So uh, they are in the same connected component of, uh, sorry, and uh, for their points in the modular space, they are in the same connected components of the capital variety. So here, MBXN is a capital variety of pi x to G or N C. So it's a fine variety. So assume that the uh, uh, so a uh, tau one uh, uh, take the bracket is uh, the the image in this capital variety. So uh, assume that they are in the same connected both in the same connected uh, the same geometric connected component. Component. Then, I mean, for every fiber f of this s infinity, so uh, the restriction uh, I do not uh, maybe j uh, maybe uh, uh, i should be the nature morphism from pi one x pi one f to pi one x. So this is the fiber. Of this uh, S infinity, so they are conjugate. So it's conjugate to 
psychology of crime. So this means that um, for every point, uh, for every two representations uh, in the characterizing, so if they are in the same connect component, then when when you uh, uh, map to the uh, character variety of pi one f, it will be the same uh, point. So in other words, so every geometric context component from M B. So in other words, so because we have a nature map from this uh, character variety to this character variety. So this is uh, just uh, the modular space of pi one x to G or N, and this is the modular space of pi one f to G or M. We just said using R star to get the uh, nature mobile. This, this theorem means that for every connect component, this image is just a point. The, the point, a point in the character part. The two representations, although they are different here, but when you restrict into each fiber, so they are the same up to some conservation. So why you, you say you want this one? Because uh, by Simpson's ubiquitous theorem, we know that in, at each uh, connected component of MBXN, so character variety, so zero is the C points which underlie the complex variation point structure. So therefore, this means that for every representation, when we switch into the fibers, it will correspond to some complex variation point structure. It gives us some advantage to study this one. Okay, so this is the lemma. So uh, I don't know, I, 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 you want to know the proof of the lemma? Yeah. Okay, so I just expect. So uh, I think it's the key point to uh, to uh, to get a new uh, construction of the Sharpeian modulum. The original approach by uh, that the words, uh, yeah, is, 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 is yes, yes, I, yeah. This because his original one is just to take some curve uh, in the character variety. Then you just uh, using some uh, reduction, uh, some variation. Uh, the curve will induce some not being a local field, some reduction more key then you need some, some, uh, some representation with respect to that representation. But here we avoid that. So uh, let me explain the rough idea. So we may assume, okay, for simplicity, we assume tau 1 and tau 2 uh, in the same, ge uh, same uh, geometrically irreducible component. Geometric uh, irreducible component. Of uh, R X, so R X is just uh, the the uh, the representation variety. So I mean, roughly speaking, so it's something like here. So it's a fine scheme such that it represents this uh, all the mobile from pi one x to g or n. This is a fine scheme. Yeah. Okay. So let's R. Also, we denote the affine scheme from pi one f to g or n. Here. So it's also a fine scheme. They are both defined over Q bar. And then, okay, so what's the character variety is actually the GIT quotient of this. This is the GIT quotient, which I denote pi x. So it's a GIT quotient. Because uh, there are some points which uh, it's not stable. So only reductive representations are stable. So here you have the nature mobilum. You just uh, the every representation here is just using the R star to pull back the representation to the fiber. And here you have some um, also GIT quotient. And everything here is a fine scheme. So they are all a fine scheme. And uh, there exists a number field, number field K, which is a fine intersection of Q, such that uh, so every morphism, uh, all the morphisms are morphisms of K scheme, all morphisms. Uh, 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 movies of, of K scheme of uh, K scheme of so those are things of fine a uh, fine scheme of a uh, finite type. Okay, so now um, so for 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 tau one tau two, so it's a point here when you look at this, uh, all the conjugate classes is here, and if they I assume by contradiction. They are not the same points. So if they are conjugated, this means that uh, they are the same point in this M. So assume by contradiction, so tau one uh, here, tau one here is here, is not 
equal to tau 2. And here. So then, since this is a affine variety, so there exists a, a affine morphism of a K spin, so uh, such as that. Uh, they are not uh, so that uh, so uh, the image here is uh, uh, so the image here is not the same so we can decide so they are not the same points not the same but well, they are fine so then we can do this okay so uh, now I mean you compose everything so there will exist um, then Okay, so because we want to use some not be representation, so since tau one and tau two are defined over C, but but there exists a, a extension of K, which your K is uh, some fine extension of QP, not in local field, such that the tau one and tau two will factorize through this one. Will factorize through this field. Because you know pi one x is finite generated. Right? So therefore, uh, the image here will be contained in a uh, in a in a field which is a, a finite generator over Q. But you know, QP is is uh, the the degree of QP over Q is UP. So therefore, you can find a K which contains uh, the the image of this one. So they will be factorized through some not field local field K. And now, so you pick. You pick uh, so a fine because the point here, so you can pick a, a curve, curve C. So you use a curve here, so which is a K curve, such as that. So uh, when you compose everything, so psi here J and pi X, C will C to A1. Uh, so um, because if curve C contains so C can contain tau one and tau two. We're content here. So then, because uh, as I say, the image is not same. So here it's not constant, and therefore it's generically finite. So this will be generically finite. Okay. So we have a generically finite thing. Now uh, you can take a Tarski open set of here, such as that. This is finite, so I don't know, maybe the whole thing to be uh, C, such as C from C to A1 is finite. It's finite over, over, over U here. Now, I mean, you just uh, look at everything. So, because uh, for every K point here, for every X over UK, so K is not in a field. So, uh, for every Y, here it's not necessary to be a K point in C, but it's uh, there exists uh, there exists a finite extension of of K I don't know L over K such that so Y is the L is the uh, L points, and uh, we know that uh, the degree of this finite extension is. Uh, is less than the degree of this fine generic fine morphism. So therefore, so uh, such an error is the, the extension degree is controlled. But there are only finite many such a finite extension with a degree less than this one. So therefore, we can find uh, some error which is a finite extension such that for every point y over this x, uh, every x here, it will be light on this field. Okay. So then we look at the uh, we, because this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, torque dense, so this means that phi uh, of this C L is unbounded set, unbounded set in uh, in A one. So L here. So it's unbounded set means that uh, you just have the definition which I say. So uh, you want to take the evaluation of every points. So uh, uh, there was no low bound. So the low, uh, the, the, the bound uh, will tend to minus infinity. So this is the unbound set here. But now, the point is that, uh, I don't have too much time. So I need to keep it. 
Now, the boundary representation actually is compact. So then this will mean that there are some points which is un, uh, unbounded representation. But now, okay, so now, but uh, a result will say that, so let X, uh, let R uh, not to be, uh, to be the space of all representations uh, is K. So the, yeah. so the subset, subset uh, of bounded representations, bounded representations, I mean, RL is a representation in Taiwan, F to uh, G and L. So all boundary representation subset. But we know that, I mean, this is a result that we have to prove. But we know that the pi, this one, is compact. That's important in uh, ML. So here, we use the topology with, with nothing topology, analytic topology. In affinity topology. So this is the compact set. So therefore, this means that there exists a point, I you know the row in CL, such as that. So uh, row composed with I is unbounded. Okay, we find some unbounded representation, uh, find some representation here, but it's, uh, when you restrict it to the fiber, it's unbounded. And um, it's not the end of the story because this might not be reductive, but uh, we can also prove that if let S, rho S be the Sermi symbol, uh, uh, Sermi uh, simplification of uh, rho. I mean, for every representation, linear representation, you can always find a Sermi simplification which is reductive. Then this is also uh, unbounded. So we have to prove this. Uh, this is not uh, obvious, but uh, you can guess. So this means that you find a reductive representation from here to G or N L. L is a mapping local field, such that this is unbounded. It's also unbounded. But as from our construction of, remember, with the construction of S infinity, for every fiber of uh, S infinity, so every Nafian representation it's a restriction to the fiber is also uh, bounded. Okay, so the restriction to fiber is bounded. So then we get the contradiction. This is not possible. So this means that so a contradiction happens. So this means that uh, uh, tau one i must be the same as tau one tau two i. That this means that they are conjugate. This is the idea. Why we get this? Okay, I don't have enough time, so I, I, I use this kind of word. That's very nice, right? It's just powerful way to go around. Yeah, yeah, don't need uh, an easier. I mean, easier than the ambiguous construction. Okay, uh, after this, so uh, then, I mean, I, I will briefly explain how to construct a topology mobile. So now, step two. Okay, so I want to use the Simpsons Euclidean, so let's we call it quickly. So Simpson. So he says that for every representation, not necessarily even linear, uh, not even reductive, so it can deform. So it deforms to a representation uh, which underlies underlies a complex variation for the structure. So as I say, the construction here is good for us because then, I mean Every, because it deforms to everything. So therefore, this means any, any reductive representation when you restrict it to the fiber. So it will be uh, uh, contributed to a, the variety of quality structures which you restrict from the fiber. So this means that uh, for every representation when you restrict from the fiber, it will be also complex variety of quality structures. So now, so now let us take, so uh, take, we take, so row one uh, to row m, which are pi one x to uh, some g and q bar. So maybe I use in k, where k is some number field, uh, is a number field of q, such that the uh, row i, so uh, they are, they are, so all the every irreducible, geometrically irreducible components 
10 tens, so they are belong to the capital right of X. So every reusable component, uh, a, a geometric connect component contains some row M. And now I want to construct a, a morphism. So because the, why do I do this one? Because in general, the complex variety of structures is monogamy might not be a, might not discrete. It's, this means that we cannot take the pure map as uh, you take the quotient as the usual variation for structure. So if we want to take the pure map, we have to make the monogamy to be discrete. Then this will use here. Now let's see, you know, the, this arc i to be the all the uh, Archimedean places, places of uh, of uh, of k. So then, I mean. For every row i, I know this to be just you compose this one. So it will be a representation from x to g and c. So the original it will define over k. You take some Archimedes here. And by Simpson theorem, we know that uh, there are some uh, complex variation for structures, which is deformation, is a deformation of uh, row i omega. So now uh, we take uh, the product uh, this way. So we take all the possible things here, and we take uh, omega to all the possible Archimedean phases here, and uh, we take, take a new representation. So then it will be pi 1x to GLN uh, product also. So i is equal to 1 to m, and all the product i is uh, omega is equal to some Archimedean phase to GL. N uh, C here. So we have uh, such a representation as you know to be sigma. Yeah. The, the good point is that the monogamy will be uh, fine. So then the fact is that so monogamy, the way restriction to each fiber, F is a fiber of uh, F infinity. So if some fiber here. So you only deal with the Archimedean terms, which probably gets no Archimedean. Yeah, it will be called, uh, uh, will be, uh, uh, will be incorporated by the construction. But that's why I use this construction. I don't have to. I will explain why this is discrete. So this is uh, discrete. Okay, I prove this. I think this is crucial. Why is this discrete? Okay, let's look at the row i, each row i, as I say. So row i is something pi 1 x to g l uh, g l n k. Then when you restriction to uh, to pi one f, so I did the i to be pi one f to pi one x, the inclusion here. So then you get something representation here. But as I say, if if you denote the uh, if you look at every Archimedean phases, so let now let's uh, v be any Archimedean phases as uh, Ludmila asked. So then you look at its completion here. So KV will be uh, the Nachbinian completion of uh, K with respect to this Nachbinian phases. Then, as I say, this is bounded. Because uh, I, I say for every uh, Nachbinian representation, it's, up, it's bounded. So then, for every V is bounded. So therefore, you have a factorization not only to GLN, GLK, but OK. This is why it's true here. For, for every uh, something, every here. But then, uh, okay, so um, then remember that uh, this is uh, okay. So this is a discrete subgroup in omega. So G or N C. So this is discrete here. Okay, because okay is a discrete uh, when you take the product of this one. So therefore, when you take all the possible here, so it will be a discrete to, uh, to uh, uh, when you take all the product here, so it will be discrete. So I just use five extra five minutes. Uh, it will be discrete. It will be discrete, but the point is that, okay, so they are conjugated when I restrict to the fibers by the level which I proved. So this means that uh, when restriction to the fibers is conjugate, so this means that it's also discrete. So it's discrete. So this means that uh, such a sigma 
uh, discrete monotony when you restrict this one. Monotony. And then uh, to control the sharp edge movement, we put them together. So let's develop P to be the pure mapping associated because sigma it has a, it's under the variation for structures. Let's develop P to be it's a complex variation for so we cannot take uh, the uh, take the quotient. But actually, when the fibers we can take the quotient, then we we'll look at the universal covering of this to S infinity. Uh, time this pure domain. So we have two maps. And the point is that uh, uh, for each fiber f, when, when we're restricting each fiber uh, of this one, so the monotony is discrete. So then with the, the variation for instruction when we're restricting to f, so it can take the quotient. So we'll have some here, which is here is a monotony of pi 1 f. So uh, this, this is the fiber of this, uh, uh, and for each fiber, when, when you uh, take uh, the image of the fiber, uh, let Z to be a fiber of this one, fiber, then we can see that the pi one and Z, uh, so uh, it's coverage, so here I'm using this coverage should be. So uh, Z, so it's uh, inverse image in the here, Every irreducible component here, so pi h is the covering of x to the h to x. Every irreducible here is just a finite cover of x of z. Then we take a, a set um, like the same factorization of this one. So I mean, the fibers of this we can prove that the fibers of this one is compact. It's just some finite covering of this pure map on the uh, restriction on the fiber. So then, this is the fibers are compact. All the connected components of the fibers that will form a space, uh, two, two minutes, four minutes. So all the uh, connected components of the fibers, they will have a, a structure of complex spaces. So then, you just take this one. So this is just uh, all the uh, connected components of the fibers. So this is a proper fiber. So this is just using the theorem by Kastan. On the Kastan, we have this one, and it's equivalent. Then you can take the quotient to get this one. So this is just the Schaffer's model, which I want to say. I, I mean, I don't have time to explain. But this is the basic idea how to construct. And tomorrow I will explain how to uh, do those things to the whole movie uh, method.